The finger protector can be used for second, third, or fourth metacarpal fractures, flexor tendon repairs or extensor tendon, crushing injuries, and lacerations. To start, measure from the highest point of the tip of the injured finger to the wrist joint. The required splint size is double this length. Cut the needed splint length and round the edges. Activate splint with water. Slide the splint on the finger and make sure both ends conclude at the wrist joint. After this, anchor the bandage at the wrist joint. To get the right immobilization, go up the hand and through the web space of the thumb and index finger. Wrap around the injured finger twice and go down again through the web space. In the end, fixate the bandage at the patient's wrist with a tape or hook and loop fastener. Position until the splint is in a rigid position. Mold as prescribed by the physician. Please be aware to make sure wrist flexion is possible if the wrist is not involved. Normally you flex metacarpals to 45 degrees and the wrist to 20 degrees extension. And then tape down or treat as prescribed by the physician.